Hi, welcome to PE from the farm. Today we're going to concentrate on our medium ball handling skills, particularly that chest pass and our two-handed catching. Let's cut to the equipment list. It's very serious business being a farmer and all, feeding the nation, so we don't often have a ball, but we can find a substitute out on the farm. We can substitute a ball for a pumpkin. We could use a toy duck. A rock melon makes a fine substitute. If you want a hoot, try a pet owl. You could also use the humble pineapple. Whatever you've got at home, round about the size of a medium ball, you can use that. All right, for your chest pass, you're going to need to face where you're throwing. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Your fingers are going to go back to the back of the pineapple with your palms to the side. Fingers well spread. You can have elbows up to start with. Later on, a little bit more advanced is having your elbows down. You're going to be facing your target. The throw actually starts from your feet. You step towards the target. That helps you with your accuracy and also your power. As you step towards the target, you're going to extend your arms, finishing with your wrist and your fingers. Let's see how it goes. From front on, your chest pass looks like this. Stand facing your target, feet shoulder width apart to start with, fingers at the back of the pineapple, elbows can be up. Remember, later on, to be a bit more advanced, you can put your elbows down, especially for games like netball and basketball. But at the moment, we'll keep our elbows up. My fingers are well spread at the back of the pineapple, with my palms to the side. When I go to throw, I'm going to start with a step towards the target, eyes fixed on it, I'm going to extend my arms out and push hard with my fingers. So I'm pushing through the ball with my fingers facing the target and that helps me to be accurate. Let's see how it works in practice. Okay, now that you know how to do your chest pass, you're going to have to be able to catch as well. The best way to catch a medium sized ball that's coming straight to you is by either making a square with your hands held out nice and wide like mine are now, or you can make a W. Either shape will do just fine. Very important to have them out in front so that you make a target for the person to throw to. I've also got my elbows bent, ready to give with the ball as I catch it. Give with the ball. I also have my feet apart, ready to give with my legs or move to where the ball's going if I need to. Let's have a look at it in practice. Alright, I had to move lower. I also had to duck down a little bit. I moved the target to the pumpkin to make a great catch. Okay, if you have little ones and they have trouble with a ball or a chicken coming straight at them, here's a little tip to help them. A direct pass is quite hard to catch, you'll need to float it. And to get them used to catching with two hands, you can use a bucket. Alright, using the bucket is just the same as we did with our square or our W-shaped hands before, except your hands are on the side of the bucket, working together. The bucket's a good way to ensure that that happens. Holding the bucket out in front of you with your elbows bent, nicely balanced weight, watching the ball, the pumpkin, or even the chicken come flying towards you in a new, nice loopy throw, centre the bucket and catch, just like this. Now that you know how to do your chest passes and you're catching off a medium sized pumpkin, now's the time to put it into practice. See how many times you can pass the pumpkin between you and your farmhand without dropping it. Here we go. Alright, 
No mashed pumpkin for dinner tonight. In passing, using a chest pass and a nice two-handed catch, let's see how fast you can go. I wonder if you can go on a very quick tempo, catch pass, catch pass, catch pass. Take the challenge, see how well you do. Now that you're good with your chest pass, time for a bit of a competition. Standing behind the bucket, can you knock all five pins down with one throw? Once you get good at your chest pass, you can play rapid fire all by yourself. Alright, good luck with your chest passes and your catches this week. Keep the challenge up, see who's best in the family. Mum, Dad, you, your brother, your sister. Good luck, stay safe. Come back next week to find out if cows are naturally grumpy or they're just moody. Bye y'all. Okay, come on now, back to work, let's go. Hey Odie, if we tie this duck to a chicken, do you think we can make it cross the road? Hi, welcome back to P on the... Odie, Odie, you didn't catch it! 